Hey guys, Caitlin here. In this video, I simply just wanted to talk to you about changing your self-talk. So the thing is, is we think words are just words. Sticks and stones will break my bones, but words will never hurt me or break me. This is an old saying I was told over and over and over again. With so much good to bring onto this earth, the problem is people have become complacent. Or they have let the past and their pain make them feel as if they needed to build a wall to protect themselves, which has only taught them how to live in fear, but then also has taught them how to push their, their loved ones away. You probably were told that you were worthless or you couldn't do something. Someone may have bruised you mentally. They either push their limited beliefs on you, things that maybe, you know, they were hurt by, so they pushed them on you. Here are some examples of some limiting beliefs. I'm a failure. I can't get things done. I can't make things change. I am not worthy. Oh darn, that happened again. Just my luck. This is too hard. I don't understand. I am, who am I to think that I was capable of being worthy to do this? I'm broke and poor. It's too expensive. I don't have time. I'm too sick. I don't understand. I don't deserve love. All the good ones are already taken. I don't have what it takes to succeed. I don't have enough education. I will never make enough money. These are all limited beliefs that I'm sure we hear almost at some point in our lifetime. And the thing is, is it can just make it really hard, not just hard mentally on us, but it can affect our reality. Here's the thing. God has gifted us an extraordinary gift, an extraordinary gift. Yes, of course, we have a roof over our head. We have money to provide, as well as we have jobs that we don't hate, by the way. But the ultimate gift that our Heavenly Father has given us is our brain. Our brain has many capabilities. And one special thing of why it is so important is because we use our brain to find our greatest capabilities, our gifts. Our gifts from our minds that we are able to share and to give back to the world and onto this earth. Our brains were given to us from God as our gifts. Our gifts are gifts from heaven that we can bring back onto earth, which is so amazing. Our minds are fragile art. We must do what we can to protect our gifts, to protect our gifts from temptation, from distraction, Temptation can only corrupt and paralyze or even stall your good work here on earth. I believe God placed each and every single one of us, including you, on this earth for a monumental purpose. By no mistake. A purpose so amazing that it is much larger than us. Instead of allowing negativity in your mind of wasting time, your precious time on earth here, I want you to make a choice today. I want you, I want you to choose, I choose, to let the negativity out and take in the positive things in your life that will serve you. And the thing is, is, 
as you're evaluating in your life, I want you to evaluate your life. Are you happy? If you're not happy with who you are, or maybe you're not proud of your past, your past could be like skeletons in your closet just trying to cling on to you every time you try to move or make a change. Get rid of that limited belief of I can't change things or I'm not proud of my past. Do yourself a kind favor and stop putting yourself in self-pity. And also stop playing the victim. I have learned over my time here on earth that the victim mindset will take you nowhere. In fact, it will only fester negativity more and more and more. It will create a black hole. <laughs> so he, here's the thing. We have to make a choice about our self-talk. And that choice does not start tomorrow. It does not start next week. It does not start next year. It does not start when we have a better paying job or when we feel like we will be happy or when we win the lottery. We need to choose to change today. Today, right now, in the present moment. Getting rid of our negative mindset thing is is it's never too late to change it's never too late to change but here is something for as long as you choose to hold on to these negative beliefs these limiting beliefs by the way they will only limit you you won't change and if you don't change you will become stagnant and when you become stagnant you stop growing and when you stop growing, you stop moving toward your purpose. I want you to choose. I choose to take a pivot, a move away from the violence and the temptation and the guilt and even the toilet talk. Run toward God for he will always help you and he will help you find the answers. Change the way you speak. Instead of having pity for yourself, acknowledge your emotions. It is okay to cry on those emotions. Write down those emotions. Forgive. Forgiveness is probably the best medicine out there. And then move forward. Move forward in your life. And every time you try to go back and change the past, you are only shaving off your future. Stop chasing shadows and go chase real things, real things in your life, like your relationships, your marriage, your career, your skills, your abilities and talents. Give yourself the permission to learn more about yourself. Don't let other people's beliefs press you into someone you're not. Be true to yourself and find integrity in yourself. And lean on faith in this as well. Building up your finances, knowing where every dollar goes, making sure that you're not clinging on to that money too tight. We don't need greed in this world. And of course, praying every day, if, even if it's just 15 minutes a day, but building that relationship with something much larger than yourself, and that's your faith. For some reason, I realize that life is tough and it will continue to be tough. It was never meant to be easy, but walking with God walking with God he he makes life better does that make sense have fun you ever laugh and like pee your pants do that random dancing go have a banana split or enjoy yourself things like that go have fun 
because fun that is a huge recipe for a happy life is fun so many people forget fun I forgot fun and then I found Ula and now I'm like oh fun that's what fun is right and then of course you really want to enjoy your friends you want to enjoy your friends you know especially your inner circle friends be prepared to get real be prepared to have moments of nostalgia it's awesome and then not to mention family there's no love out there like family especially in your inner circle family is they are amazing but maybe you have family who they're not as graceful towards you maybe they there's drama in your family or there is resentment and hatred and anger um the thing that I have to say here is sometimes it's not as easy to walk away from a family member when there's some toxicity in the relationship. The best thing that I could tell you here is simply pretend like you are in a suit or in a bubble. And every basically that bubble when you enter the room, maybe you're at a family gathering, birthday party, etc., family reunion, and you see this family member, and maybe this family member knows exactly what buttons to push, what you need to do, suit up, what I've learned in Ola, suit up, or I also think of the scenario as the bubble, it protects you. What it will do is it'll protect you, and every word that they say, it won't affect you. I choose not to receive that. That's what you can say. I choose not to receive that. Because when you give yourself the privilege to understand you, a hundred people could say you are this thing or this person or who they, they could judge you, but you know who you are. So who has the audacity to even tell you who they think you are when you know yourself, right? And then, of course, so those are some things to pay attention to. Another thing is staying grateful. Gratitude, so important, so important. And we'll get more into this. Um, but gratitude is simply having a love for your life as where you are right now. Who you were, where you are now, where you will be in the future. That is gratitude. Gratitude is finding love and the tiniest things it could be the worst situation and you're making the best of that situation speak positive here's the thing if your crops are dying or it's not raining odds are if you keep on talking about how they're never going to grow or there's never going to be rain they'll never grow because remember, your words create your reality. Or if you say, I have no money. Or you basically, you just continue to say, I have no money or I, I'm not good enough. Well, guess what? What you're saying here, you're creating your, your own reality. You will continue to have no money. Now the trick here to a positive mindset is simply... Finding gratitude, like I told you earlier. It is where you have been. Finding gratitude in where you've been, where you are now, and where you will be in the anticipation of your future. Negative words and our negative self-talk will only spawn into clouds. And it will only cloud our judgment and create a negative reality. But perhaps... When you choose to have a, a positive mindset, rather it is abundance, being healthy, being successful. When you change your mindset as if you are already claiming abundance, I claim abundance, I am happy, Sean, I am successful. When you say these positive affirmations as if you already have it, 
it's going to become your reality because it starts with your gift. It starts with your gift of your brain. And that is where you can unlock, unlock your greatest values and skill sets that you can bring back to the world by using your gift that our Heavenly Father gave to us. Don't let anything corrupt it, protect it. And here's another thing about positivity that's pretty awesome. Not only is positivity helpful for your well-being, your future, and even your spirit, it also is a breath of fresh air to people all around you. It's contagious. That's the biggest thing. So that's what I really wanted to get on here for. Um, I will hang out just a little for some questions if anybody has any questions or comments. But I simply just wanted to share that message. And yeah, it's a great night. So does anybody have any questions at all? Let's see. And if you like this video, go ahead and like this video. Um, but basically, I'm just here for you. Um, I also have a women's group as well. It's called Broken into Strong Resilient Women. My focus mainly is just helping broken women and helping them find themselves, creating their own universe, you know, creating and finding their own balance and their own world to be able to be strong and resilient and to become better moms, to become better girlfriends, wives, women on this earth. So that's pretty awesome. So, well, I don't see any comments or anything, but I want to thank you so much for just watching my video. I hope it was very insightful for you. And I hope you all, I hope you have a blessed night. Thank you so much. All right. Bye.